Oh my God, two videos in one day. But it's okay, because it's a really, really cool topic. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today I'm all about print on demand jewelry, because it's so much fun. I mean, what, what else are these companies gonna come up with? Everybody looking at print on demand like, hey, we're selling t-shirts and pillowcases. And no, there are so many other products that you can sell. And no, well, I am I am kind of a hypocrite doing it while wearing a print on demand hoodie, but I do think that there is so much more to print on demand than apparel and pillowcases. And what I have here is a print on demand necklace. And if you've seen my live Q and A on the twentieth of December, you've probably seen a quick glimpse of that necklace. But this necklace is just a small part of this video because print on demand jewelry is far bigger than what you might think. There are so many people who are interested in name necklaces, and this would be the perfect example of a customized Etsy store or Shopify store where you can just create custom necklaces with people's engraved names on them, and it's pretty, pretty awesome. But there are so many other things that you can do with these necklaces. You don't have to make them custom. I've heard a lot of people saying like, you know, with custom jewelry, with custom necklaces, basically with print on demand necklaces, all you can do is have a shop with, you know, your name on it, or people would order the date that they got married, the date that they got engaged, any kind of personalization. But the fact is that you can create these print on demand necklaces and jewelry, regardless of customization. You can create a whole store dedicated to print on demand zodiac necklaces, and then people would just order without you needing to personalize or customize them, even though customization is the future. There is also another myth that is going to be debunked in this video and that is that all print on demand jewelry are basically engraved and it's not really a place for artists so i hope that this video will show you that that's not the case and to go over this topic i decided that i'm not going to just go over with printful i mean i do have a necklace from printful and we're going to be seeing it in a few minutes but before we do that i want to take you on a journey and discover three print on demand suppliers where you can sell jewelry so let's just make myself smaller so we can start with Printify and Printify blew me off right away because this is a, less, a little less than $9 necklace that you can actually upload a full design onto the oval necklace and I think it was like three or something shipping. And I was looking into also premium Printify prices because you can pay Printify a certain amount of money per month to get a discount for, for all their products. And with the Printify Premium, you'll end up paying less than $7 manufacturing cost for that necklace. And even if shipping is $5, that's still, you can charge $20, $25 and still make a big margin. And I went into designing this necklace and I wanted to start with things that I already have. Like my library is things that I already uploaded onto Printify. So I wanted to get started with some of the designs that I've already had on it. You can see some of the designs below were actually from mugs. And I was thinking maybe to upload the Puzzle Queen. This is actually a design I have on Tee Public on a t-shirt. But I was thinking it can be kind of cute, especially when I can customize the background. And I was just doing it real quick because I wanted to see how the preview is because it was important for me to see how it's going to look, as well as their mock-ups. So we have a front one, we have a back mock-up, we also have a close-up mock-up which is rather important, especially when it's on the side. And we also have a mock-up on it, like, hanged on a jewelry box. I mean, how cute is that? I was looking at it and I was like, oh my god, I really want that necklace. I should really stop making, like, these tutorials or videos. It makes me want to order. Anyway, I deleted that part and I decided that I want to try the custom text option because you can also make tech ne text necklaces here. And I didn't really know what to write. I just wrote my... <laughs> Just wrote my name and then you can style it so you can make it a custom necklace as well the thing is that you don't have to actually make it a custom one you can also write you know love or something like that and within that necklace what i wanted to do is maybe also add something to it like uh, a small piece of graphics and if you've been following my channel you know I'm, I'm like deeply disturbed by puzzles i'm deeply into puzzles so i actually have some puzzle pieces that i drew up on procreate so I uploaded these pieces and sort of put them under my name. I don't know why. I thought it would be cute. It's a very dumb necklace. I know. It's a very, very dumb idea. So I immediately deleted that and decided to try it with one of my own basically liquid art designs that I make using Procreate. And that's when things got interesting. I'm looking at it and the only thing I think about is maybe this should be the topic of my Etsy store. 
I spoke about the topic of my Etsy store and my print on demand for 2022 in the video yesterday. I will leave a link to that down below. You can go ahead and check it out. But looking at this now, I am definitely, definitely interested. It's by Callaway, the supplier, and I was trying to see more information about the supplier. Eventually, the best information I got was actually making an order for two different necklaces and finding out they're going to be shipped from the United States. So hopefully that will be good. They ship worldwide from the USA and the shipping costs to anywhere but Canada, Mexico, rest of the world. It's like the European countries, the UK, United States are pretty much around three, four, five dollars with an additional one dollar if someone orders two units or, you know, more than one. Just reviewing their mock-ups. I mean, come on. Their mock-ups are adorable. Of course, I would like to order some of myself, and I recommend everyone who wants to start selling to order. But the mock-ups were pretty good. And, you know, moving on to Zazzo. Under accessories and jewelry, you have bracelets, charms, earring, necklaces, rings, and a lot of watches. And I'm pretty much ignoring the watches. I don't really find them to be an interesting product to me. Unless the pocket watches, they're also kind of cool. But you have drop earrings, you have round necklaces that you can put your designs on, round lockets. That's a pretty cool thing. As well as square necklaces, round charms. So people can put on bracelets. We have a charm bracelet, silver plated. We have so many different products on Zazzle in terms of this, even a round ring, which is kind of cool. You, I really like the bangle bracelet with round charm. I might order one for myself just for fun. And scrolling down, I, you know, they have this huge collection of watches. I don't know why they're less interesting to me, maybe because I don't wear a watch. And a lot of earrings for Zodiacs, which you cannot customize in any way, you can just order. And then I move back to Printful. Now, Printful has basically six products. If you're in the EU, you'll see five products and not six because one of them is only shipping from the United States and it's not really recommended. But they do have earrings, they have chain necklaces, and this cool chain necklace it's a bit of a different design concept. It's 23 euros and basically free shipping to Bulgaria. But the process of designing it is extremely different from Printify. You cannot upload any of your own files. The only thing you can put in is text and clip art. So I put the text love and with editing the text, all you have to do is scroll up above your preview and then select, you can select your font, the text size, the letter spacing, they actually do have the option to curve text as well, not just playing around with the font. So what you can do is scroll up, go to transform and choose an arc or a rotation to design these things. They also have their own clip art, which you can search for and basically add some of your own clip art to these designs. Well, some of their clip art to these designs and their mockups are rather cute. I mean, uh, I really like the mockup from Printify but the mock-ups that I found here are rather adorable. I mean, you have just a simple one and you have this girl who's really smiling who I would love to know what lip gloss she's using because that color is really good. Comparing to her, because she looks a bit angry, she's like, like very serious. And this girl is really smiling. <laughs> I don't know why it caught me, but definitely looking back at it, even though that this comes with like an eco-friendly package, I was thinking to myself that Printify does seem to have a lot of other options that I am looking into. Eventually, I ordered for myself the engraved silver necklace, which looks this way. And as you can see, again, you can just put text here or add clip art. And for personalization, for example, you can choose to add clip art of various kinds. I was actually thinking about adding a puzzle. They didn't have a puzzle. They do have some pro clip art for people who are using pro. Um, they don't have a puzzle, but then at the end I was just like, you know, let's just do something cool with a heart. We have Valentine's Day right around the corner. And what I thought about doing was like, you know, you can put a heart in the middle and basically sell custom necklaces with the initials. So, you know, T, love, J, or I love you, or whatever with the initials. The mock-ups for these necklaces is kind of cute. I love that they had the same woman, but in a different uh, position. It kind of looks really cool. And I do love their selection of necklaces. However, Printify really, really got me thinking about ordering this for myself, which is what I did. Just before filming the part of me talking, I was filming the screen and discovering this really cool thing with Printify, and I actually made an order for two necklaces. 
One of which is a necklace with my liquid art in the green spec. It's, I'm, I'm totally into green, that's insane. And the second oval necklace I ordered was with a photograph I took on the beach here that basically shows like the seashells on the beach and the horizon. And I'm really looking forward to receiving them. And of course, when I receive them, there will be a product review about that. Speaking of product reviews, I have the Printful necklace right here. But before I'm gonna show it to you, I have to ask you for something. If you like this video or found this content useful, please hit that like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel and makes me feel better about, you know, spending money on print and demand products that I can show you and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. As I said before, I only saw the Printify option for oval necklaces now and I made this order from Printful, you know, looking into their, they have an option to order three orders a month if you're a member, so like a test orders with 20% discount and free shipping. So the package came from Dainty Mugs. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Dainty Mugs was the name of an Etsy store that I had integrated with Printful. So the facts are that when your client is gonna get something from Printful, they're gonna get it from your shop, which is pretty cool. And it came this way. So I have the official packaging slip with, you know, um, the address and the quantity and then this and then this cute little box uh, that says eco friendly on it I don't know if you can see it it's engraved here and this cute little box I'm gonna open it for you and the necklace inside it kind of moved a bit because I was moving around let me release the necklace from this it is kind of cute that it comes in its own like box I was looking at the prices for the oval necklace for Printify. I was like, oh my God, this is really cheap. And I didn't know why. And I'm trying to think maybe it will be something, you know, about the way that it's being, it's going to be shown or something like that. And this is my necklace engraved on one side with the message, not today. I don't know if you can see this. As much as you know, I could have engraved anything on it and you can use it for custom things. For me, this message is something rather special. There is this mantra. I think there are so many ways to deal with mental illness, with depression, with anxiety, with PTSD. And a lot of people just fall into these, oh, tomorrow's gonna be fine, you know, everything's gonna be okay. But when you're clinically depressed or when you have PTSD, Everything is not going to be okay. I mean, it's just a flat lie to just believe this optimism. And having this optimism sent your way is often more depressing than the intent of the person sending it to you. And there is one sentence that I remember from various therapies. And that one thing that really helped me out is when you want to sabotage yourself, when you want to give up, when you want to do this, the only thing you need to say is, you know what, not today. I'm not going to give up today. And it's not a commitment thing, you know? I'm not gonna change my life around and be happy forever. No, I'm just gonna try to not give up today. And as long as you keep telling yourself not today, you'll never give up. Which is why it's on the necklace. And let's see how it looks on me. I actually have to try it. Oh my God, this is so complicated. Let's hope I can do it right. It's so hard putting your necklace on. I don't even know how it looks. I've never been so close to you guys. And I don't know if I like this style of necklaces. I usually don't wear silver or something plated. I usually don't, like in this winter, I actually don't wear necklaces at all because I keep having scarves on me. And when I do have necklaces, I like really long ones. But I really do like this thing. I think I might be just using it as a bracelet or just, you know, maybe even sort of wrap it around one of my notebooks or glue it to my journal but i really do like it and it's really really cool i'm super happy i made this short video showing you guys print on demand jewelry and again there are so many things that you can do with them whether you're customizing them whether you're engraving zodiac signs or whether you're using them to actually sell physical art like selling your paintings and stuff like that on a mini necklace and of course i will update you guys whenever i get my print by necklaces this has been awesome making two videos today. I'm saying awesome and I mean exhausting, <laughs> but this has been awesome making two videos today and I can't wait to actually see you guys tomorrow. As tomorrow, I will be sharing with you guys 
my print on demand tools, every single tool that I'm using for my print on demand, whether it's on my phone, it's on my iPad, whether it is the iPad, every basically thing that I'm paying for or have paid for or have downloaded that helps me with my print on demand and might help you as well. That's going to be tomorrow. We also have a lot of videos coming up this month. I have added more videos to the list that I shared with you guys yesterday. And I hope that you actually saw the video that was before this one with the Instagram marketing update. If you haven't, go ahead and check it out. I will leave a link to that down below. But with that being said, and with this being the second video for today, that was it from me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as usual, I'll see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye.